In this video, I want to show you how to use a VLOOKUP from one workbook across to another workbook and some of the issues that you need to watch out for. So let's start off here. We've got a whole list of members of staff and the salary scale that they're on here, level one, two, three, right through to 10. And then over on a separate workbook, so this is not a separate worksheet, this is a separate workbook. This one's called company wages. The one with the staff on is called staff data. On here, we've got the salary scales. So we've got level one through to level 10 and the hourly rate. So what we want to do is pull the hourly rate across depending on the salary scale that each member of staff is on. So we're going to use a VLOOKUP in the normal way that we would use it within one workbook, but we're just going to go across two workbooks. Now I've got these open on the one screen so that you can actually see what's going on here. So we start off with equals V lookup and I can now press tab to finish typing that. The lookup value is this salary scale, so that's C2, and then comma, and this is where it differs now because normally you would do this within the same workbook. We're going across to this workbook and highlighting the data. And what you'll see here is that it's put company wages dot xlsx, which is the name of the workbook, and that's in square brackets. Then it's put the name of the worksheet, salary, and let's just move this out of the way. You can see that it's put the range A2 colon, to, which means 2, B11. So that's the range. So we want a comma, and it's the second column. So we put a 2, comma, and this is an exact match, so we put false and then close the bracket and press enter. So you can see that that's 15 pound has been bought over. So we're now going to double click the fill handle and send that down. And that's reading from one book, workbook across to the other. Now let's just have a quick look at that again. So let's press F2 on that first one. And you can see it says equals VLOOKUP C2 and it's got company wage. But watch what happens if I close this company wages down. So let's just click the cross and close it down and save it. And now we'll have a look at the formula or the function. Let's just make this a bit bigger for us so you can see it. Can you see what it's done? It's now put the complete file path in there. So it starts off with c colon backslash users my name dropbox and so on until it gets up to the bit that we saw which was the name of the worksheet so now you can update either one of those and both worksheets would update so we could update the salary scales um, if there was a wage rise and all these would change or we can change a person from level three to nine so let's just do that. So let's um, make this person a level five, for example. So we put level five, and what we've got to do is watch this 15 pound. As we press enter, it goes off. So even though the other workbook is closed, it still goes off and reads the data. We'll just do that once more. We'll put this person on level 10. So let's just Go in here and type 10, press enter, and that 45 pound changes to 55. Okay, now what happens if this changes folder, if somebody changes the folder for one of them? So let's just go and have a look. So let's just bring my folder into view here, and you'll see that we've got the company wages and the staff data. So let's now create a new folder I'll just call that changed for now so we can see it the spreadsheet we've got open is staff data so let's move the company wages into this changed folder let's move this out the way and let's close this one down as well and save that and we'll just reopen it 
and you can see what happens when we reopen this it actually says enable content so this is a security thing really it's saying that automatic updates of links have been disabled so if we clicked enable content and you get this error down here we can't update the links it just can't find the workbook so we could click continue but we don't really want to do that we want to update the link so click edit links and it opens this dialog box and you can see here we've got an error so what you would do here is come over to change source and now we can navigate to the source of data so let's navigate to it and there it is in that changed we click company wages click OK now it says OK so we can close this and all this is now updated now you can get to that another way if you come over to your data tab at the top so come over here to edit links that opens up this dialog box and we can then decide whether we want to update values change the source open the source so let's say we want to open the company wages click open source and there it is there we can now update the wage levels we might want to make this one 11 pound and level two say 13 pound and say there's some wage rises there and now we can close this down save that and let's have a look at level one you can see that's gone up from 10 to 11 pounds so it it's a great way of navigating to it we don't have to go and search we just go and click edit links and then open source and you'll get the list of all the sources if you've done vlookups or any other lookups across to other workbooks you can go and find them nice and easily if you're sending this to somebody you've got a bit of a problem because if you sent this workbook to somebody they wouldn't necessarily have that link and again if you sent both workbooks then whoever you've sent it to has got a mess about editing these links so unless they're sort of au fait with it um, you're just sending them a lot of hassle really so what I would do is either go to these hourly rates here and copy and paste them as values only. So there's no need for any links. They just get the up-to-date workbook and you don't need to link to the other one. The other way of doing it is actually pulling that salary, those salary scales across into this workbook. You could put it on a separate sheet within the workbook then when you send this workbook they'll have both this data and the connecting data all in one workbook so really it's up to you how you do it but you just got to be very careful when you're going from one workbook to another so if you enjoyed this and felt you've gained from it please give me the thumbs up so you don't miss any future videos please subscribe <laughs>